Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada. I hope that everybody is having an awesome week so far. I hope that you're staying healthy and productive, enjoying every single moment of life. Welcome Chayang Kip. Hi, Irby, Akira. Hi, Amrit. Welcome to our moderator, Carolina. Good to see many students in the class. In this class, students, uh, we are looking at IELTS speaking part one. And the specific topic for this part one, we'll be talking about the internet. So uh, IELTS uh, speaking part one. Uh, targets a, a general topic that is well known to most people around the world, to society, that most people can talk about fairly easily as long as you have some basic language skills uh, in English. And of course, the internet is certainly um, a very important part of most people's lives. So um, that could very easily be uh, a speaking part one topic. In fact, if anybody's ever had this topic, the internet, um, let me know. I'm curious if somebody's already had this topic for their speaking, whoever's done the aisle. So speaking part one, it's about five, six minutes uh, of your speaking section interview. It includes some instructions, about uh, 30, 40 seconds, and then um, it has um, some questions to get to know you, some introductory questions, and then about five questions or so on this kind of a topic like the internet. All right, um, so uh, this material, as usual, is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS, visit us there. For the general IELTS, visit us at gieltshelp.com. We have lots of help there for you. And in fact, we will be using our website, aehelp.com, this website today uh, for practicing the speaking section uh, because this website has a chat interface where we will connect with audio, with sound. And I will talk to our viewers and uh, we will uh, practice these speaking part one questions about the internet. Uh, click this big red button to join our premium IELTS package, or you can also click this green button that's right behind me there uh, to try it for uh, free. For the general IELTS, it's the same idea. So again, you want to click that big red button um, for the premium package. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access students and it really does not cost a lot of money. So it's well worth it and you get to use it as long as you need to. Uh, you can use your mobile application or your practice exams and the likes. Um, and uh, we have this discount code still going this week, the IELTS9. Right, um, aim high. IELTS 9 will get you a 25% discount off the premium IELTS package, so check that out. Okay, um, all right. Now I see that Amrit, uh, you got your score. So 6.5 for writing, 6.5 for speaking, 6.5 for listening and reading, 5.5. Amrit, that's a very well-balanced score. Congratulations on that. That means you are a fluent to a good user of the English language. Reading is obviously Amrit where you need to make some improvements. Amrit um, has been a longtime member. He has been working very hard. He has had speaking practice as well on the website um, and um, Amrit, don't worry about that reading mark. Uh, I'm sure you can do better next time. What's really important is just to focus a lot on reading. So you need to read a lot and I got your email and I will uh, respond to that email and give you some more details. Welcome uh, Rashika and welcome to our other members as well. That's awesome. 
so again, students, uh, use this code um, IELTS9 for that 25% discount on the websites. It's worth it. Um, we will use the websites today, as you will see. Uh, you can get our apps, Academic IELTS Help and General IELTS Help from your app store so you can study on the go. And to keep up with all of our schedules and materials, follow us on Instagram, IELTS underscore A help, GLTS help, and definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. So right now, click that subscribe button, click the bell button, and then you will get notifications of our live IELTS classes. We definitely have uh, the world's most advanced online IELTS course for you to succeed. If you have questions, send me an email. Uh, my email is adrian at aehelp.com. We love helping our viewers and our students. Um, so any question that you have, let us know. Okay, we are here to help you. Uh, we will have uh, several classes this week. By the way, those light hall classes last week were really fun and successful. We'll have more of those in July, so keep an eye out for that. Um, right now, we'll have uh, speaking part one where everybody can join in, the fun. Um, tomorrow, a little bit earlier in the day, we will have task two writing for members. Then we'll have listening part one and two using our listening exams. And then uh, on Saturday, we'll have speaking part two and speaking part three uh, for everybody. So lots going on, okay, lots going on. And uh, we always love to have uh, as many students as we can in these classes. So uh, let's get to IELTS speaking part one, um, starting with the introductions. So again, you are going to be uh, at your IELTS speaking section exam a little bit early, about an hour before it starts, okay? Practice your English, use your English. Uh, it's very important that you warm up um, those language muscles of the brain and that you use English before you walk into your uh, actual interview, okay? Do not speak in your native language uh, before your IELTS speaking exam. Switch on your English language centers. Uh, different languages use different parts of the brain. So using English before the exam is a very, very important uh, tip. Okay. All right. Okay, everyone. Uh, so uh, somebody's saying align your screen. Let's see. Maybe make it a little bit smaller like that. Yeah. Uh, who was that that suggested that? That was a good uh, suggestion there, and I do appreciate that. Um, so thank you. I'm definitely watching the chat and uh, seeing what you guys are saying, keeping an eye on on it. Let's see, hopefully that will fit nicely there, okay? All right, so uh, speaking part one. Your interview is about uh, 12 to 15 minutes, okay? Um, and um, let's see, is that still? Um, let me see, still, let's see, like that maybe? Okay, hopefully that should be good now. Um, I'm trying to make it as big as possible without it going off <laughs> the screen. Demon Game is still not proper. Um, it should be. Um, all right. Okay, uh, so here we go. Um, now, uh, when you walk in, the examiner will give you instructions. Okay, so the examiner says, um, and this is about maybe 30 seconds, uh, welcome to the uh, speaking uh, section of the IELTS exam and then they keep going. It's pretty much standard. It's like they're reading. They actually memorize this introduction part. So they say, welcome to the speaking section of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. It has three parts. I'm recording this for uh, clerical purposes. I will give you instructions for each of the three parts. 
This is candidate number 95812255 and examiner number 7896. We are currently conducting this exam in Victoria, British Columbia. The time right now is 14 o'clock and now we shall begin. So when you hear these instructions, okay, Um, do not sit there nervously staring out into space, okay? Okay, so don't be like that during uh, these instruction, instruction uh, sentences when you hear these, okay? Instead, remember uh, your strategies and to start strong, okay? Simply put, uh, remember to speak fluently, clearly, and loudly right from the beginning. Uh, remember to give answers, explanations, and examples. Okay, uh, remember to think critically. What, why, how? Okay, now we'll get to that in a moment when we talk about the internet. So uh, keep these in mind, okay? As soon as that the examiner uh, starts telling you about the instructions, that should trigger this, okay? It should be like a trigger uh, for uh, these uh, points, these very important points, okay? That's what should be going on in your head. Okay, that's what you have to focus on, all right? Don't just sit there really nervous like you're about to explode. Um, don't look at the examiner like who is this guy or why are they so angry looking or why are they so happy looking or wow, I've never seen a person like this before in my life. Okay, uh, focus on your goals, all right? Okay, um, and then the examiner will ask the first question. The examiner will say, may I see your identification, please? So of course, thinking about your strategies, you're going to give a nice full sentence answer for this. Now answer this question, students. I'm going to do the same. We do this all the time because this is your very first point of verbal contact, right? So you're going to say, um, Happily, remember I taught you this the other week, happily. Um, here is my passport that I have used to register for the test. Uh, please take a look. Okay, now this is speaking everybody, so make sure to speak and repeat. Okay, don't just listen to me. Um, listening is good, it's, a start. it's the start to communication. You have to listen um, before you speak. But speak as well, so copy what I say, okay? May I see your identification, please? Happily, here's my passport that I have used to register for the test. Please take a look. Now notice that this is present perfect, I have used, and I am not contracting the uh, I have, so I don't say I've used, but I'm very clearly uh, showing the uh, examiner that uh, I can use the present perfect okay so I have used general rule of thumb okay so commonly the rule is um, in professional communication uh, oral or written so that means speaking or writing um, contractions contractions are like I've I'm uh, there, okay, uh, so these, uh, she'd, okay, so these are contractions, uh, contractions are avoided. Now in speaking, if you use some contractions later on, it's okay. As long as in the beginning you very clearly verbalize, vocalize for the examiner 
the I have, she would, they would, I would, okay? So vocalize those uh, words, don't contract them, all right? Okay. So Cole Winder Singh in the chat says, yes, you can. Here is my passport that I used to register for this test a couple of weeks ago and for signing up a few minutes ago uh, for this interview. Cole Winder, it's not signing up a few minutes ago this interview. It's registering a few minutes ago. Okay, registering, not signing. You don't sign, you register. Okay. All right, good, good, uh, nice. So again, nice full sentences. And then the next question is, what is your full name? Again, repeat after me. What is your full name? Practice questions as well, students, not just answers, questions as well, okay? All right, so um, my whole name is Christopher Jenkins. Please just call me Chris for short. Okay, Chris, short form for Christopher. It's not a nickname, it's kind of a nickname, but it's just a short version of Christopher. Um, so my whole name is Christopher Jenkins. Please call me Christopher short. If you want, you can even add the phrase as you can see in my passport. Um, Please just call me Chris for short, okay? If you have a nickname though, make sure you use the word nickname, okay? Vipasha Vyas, our member, says, uh, my first name is Vipasha, my family name is Sharma. You can call me Vipasha. Um, Vipasha, say please call me, okay? It's more polite. Please call me is more polite than you can call me, okay? So please call me uh, Chris is more polite than uh, you can call me Chris. Okay, so use please call me. All right, it's better. Okay. And then the examiner will say, um, okay, Chris, they might call you by name. Uh, they often do, so experienced examiners will call you by name because they know that calling you by name helps to calm you down. They know that people are really nervous and they want you to do a good job in the IELTS speaking. They want you to be calm. So they try to do everything in their power uh, to make you feel as calm as possible without influencing your language so they can't behave in a friendly way they shouldn't be behaving in a friendly way with you they should be behaving in a serious way but aside from that they are they should be behaving professionally um, and they might uh, call you by name okay Chris let's begin uh, what do you do for fun okay give me a nice full sentence here so what do you do uh, for fun Okay, and now I see a lot of people using the phrase, please call me or please address me. Those are all very nice, okay. All right, Amanjot says, I usually play with children and watch comedy shows for the same. Okay, don't use for the same, use a better word, Amanjot. So um, Amanjot says, I usually uh, play with uh, children and watch comedy shows for enjoyment, okay? All right, um, why? You should always answer the why question, okay? Uh, because I have two kids, they are six and eight, and they often have their friends visit. We have uh, lots of good laughs uh, playing games together. In fact, 
we had a blast uh, playing a Twister just last uh, Saturday. Okay, so that's a much better answer, Amanjot. You had a good start with the answer, uh, but the examiners are really looking for originality and detail. So if you play with children, why is that? Are you a teacher in kindergarten? Do you have a lot of relatives, uh, nieces, nephews? Do you have your own children? Um, do you uh, work in uh, some kind of a business that deals with children, like a toy store? I have no idea. I'm the examiner. I don't know your life. I don't know why uh, you spend time playing with children um, and comedy shows. So you have to answer that question, right? So why? So the answer here, the clear answer here would be, I usually play with children and watch comedy shows for enjoyment because I have two kids. They are six and eight and they often have their friends visit. We have lots of good laughs playing games together. In fact, we had a blast playing Twister last Saturday. Um, students, had a blast means had a lot of fun. Okay, uh, definitely write down new vocabulary. Um, think about blast like, right? Boom! Um, so lots of fun. I hope that everybody is having a blast in this IELTS speaking class. Okay, I hope you're all having a blast. All right. Um, and then uh, Amrit says, how to go with the how question? Well, if you think about it, Amrit, the how question, that's a good question. The how question is often the uh, example. So how did we have fun? We had fun by playing Twister last Saturday. Okay, so this is kind of the how question. The how question answer can be thought of as the specific example from your life. Um, especially for part one because the uh, part one questions are often about you, right? It's the introductions, it's getting to know you. So um, that's why you see the what do you do for fun? Not other people, not your brother, not your sister, not people in general. You shouldn't say, well, people go to the movie theater for fun. Be like, so do you go to the movie theater or is that just people that go to the movie theater? So pay attention to the subject noun, right? Here, the subject noun is you. So your answer has to be me. I do this for fun. I love doing this. Okay. All right. Good. Um, Hardik is asking, uh, can I sit the aisles at the age of 17? Uh, if you need to, Hardik, sure, why not? Um, a lot of uh, people will sit the aisles at the age of uh, 17 for uh, university. Absolutely. Uh, the earliest age of registration for aisles, if I'm not mistaken, is still 16. Okay. And Sagar Royla says, hello, sir, I got 8.5 because of you. Uh, Sagar, that is awesome. Congratulations, 8.5 is a fantastic score. Uh, by the way, just a quick side note here, uh, students. Um, so side note, uh, when you pass the aisles, uh, send us a testimonial. So send me an email uh, to uh, Adrian at aehelp.com. Um, we would love to get your testimonial. Okay, I love getting testimonials. We have lots on our websites of our success stories. So send us a testimonial. We love those. Okay, we love to hear your success stories. That makes us happy. Um, our motto is your success is our success, and that's very true. Okay, so uh, we're doing a good job here. Now we're on to part one. Questions, let's talk about the internet. Okay, and as soon as you hear uh, this um, topic, the internet, your brain should start racing. But not in a disorganized way but in an organized way. So your brain should start racing, uh, collecting information 
in an organized way. Um, think of synonyms for internet. What are some synonyms? What are some other ways to say internet? Because right away, of course, you want to show your lexical resource. But not only that, by thinking of synonyms, it will also help your brain to think of other information. It will trigger other centers of thought and language. So what are other ways to say the internet? Yeah, online search, sure. Online information. Um, Shush, uh, Shushanta says the web. Yeah, um, being online, yes, sure. Rashika says online, um, web. Um, cyberspace, very good. Yeah, pop culture, there's definitely going to be lots of words. Uh, good vibe says social media. Social media, mm, kind of wireless, mm, kind of global network is a good one. Let's say uh, World Wide Web. Right? WWW. Okay. All right. Um, good. Nice. Those are good. Okay, and then uh, you should think about um, what, why, how. So what is the internet? Why do we have the internet? How does the internet work, right? So your brain should be thinking critically. What is the internet? Okay, it is a digital information shared among uh, people around uh, the world, okay, connected through uh, computers, right? So what is the internet? It is digital information shared among people around the world connected through computers. Okay, keep that in mind. Uh, why do we have the internet to quickly access information for work, enjoyment, and what we're doing right now, education, right? To learn, okay? That's what we're all accessing the inf internet for right now. Okay. Vipasha says to connect to the world, okay? How does the internet work? All right, uh, user requests information, software searches and provides access to information. The user acquires the information. Right? That is the simplest way to say it. Practice this kind of thinking. So train your brain to think in this way quickly and effectively so that you can answer questions well. Okay? Uh, keep in mind, students, that for band 6.5 to 9 in the speaking, and for the writing as well, by the way, so band uh, 6.5 to 9 in IELTS speaking, is mostly um, decided based on content, on what you say, okay? So yes, the grammar is important. Yes, the vocabulary is important. Your pronunciation, eh, kind of important. I need to understand you. Um, so not overly important, but kind of important. Um, but certainly uh, the quality of information becomes very important between a fluent and expert user of the English language. Okay. All right. Um, so here's the first question. Keep this in mind. All right. Let's do this. So how often do you use the internet?
Okay. Um, there we go. So here's my answer. And uh, we'll take a look at your answers in a second. I just want to show you what I'm doing here. So how often do you use the internet? Um, right away, I'm using some of that nice paraphrasing that you generated only moments ago. So I access cyberspace at least a dozen times each day. A dozen times means 12 times, at least 12 times. It's a common expression in English, okay? So 12. Um, whether it's for entertainment, work, or study, I'm frequently searching for information or catching the latest flick. Last night, I watched a show called The Umbrella Academy on Netflix. Uh, notice that I'm using that information of why, right? For entertainment, for work, or for study. So by thinking of that information, I can start applying it right away in my answers, okay? Arda uh, has this answer in the chat. Arda says, I frequently use the internet to be more specific, three to four hours a day. As I mentioned earlier, I play online games for fun. So three to four hours each day is the amount of time I spend for the internet. Uh, too much reiteration here, Arda. I would take that uh, out and I would say it a little bit um, differently. So I spend at least four hours, maybe even more. Okay, and then give a specific example, Arda. Okay, don't forget your specific examples. All right, those are important. Okay. All right, uh, let's see what Irby says. Uh, there's what Arda says there more clearly. Uh, this is Irby's answer here. Uh, the world has technologically evolved and being fortunate enough in this time, I use the internet most of the time in a day for entertainment and mostly because of my studies. Um, okay, all of this information here, um, Irby is irrelevant, okay? Uh, it does not answer my question. So your answer actually starts here. Okay, uh, students, uh, here's a very important tip for your IELTS speaking, okay? Uh, your speaking interview is about 12 minutes. You do not have enough time to uh, give irrelevant information or go off topic, okay? So, Irby, saying something like the world has technologically evolved, nobody cares, okay? I'm sorry, but that's not what we're talking about here. I'm not trying to be harsh, I'm just trying to give you the truth. If you speak that way um, and you keep doing that and you're speaking, you're going to waste a lot of time uh, being what's called incoherent. And coherence is extremely important for high band scores. So this is considered low coherence. And it's really terrible that some IELTS uh, channels on YouTube and some information tell you to talk in this way uh, for the IELTS speaking section. It's not true, okay? It's not the right way uh, to uh, do it. Okay, all right, um, so stay on topic, okay? All right, uh, let's uh, get into some uh, student speaking, everybody. I'm gonna put on my ears here and we're actually going to practice this in real time with real students, you, uh, from around the world and then I will continue to talk strategy, give you some nice high band examples and feedback. So to do this, we are going to uh, go to our website here, aehelp.com. Okay, so we want to go to this website. Um, and uh, once we're on that website, it looks like this. This is uh, aehelp.com. Okay, so aehelp.com. 
Uh, then you can join our premium uh, course uh, by clicking this red button, or you can try it for free with the green button, okay? And after you click those buttons and sign up, then you click on your My Student account. Actually, it will log you into your My Student account. And once you're in your My Student account, you have access to computer-based practice exams, a full interactive course, uh, study plans, uh, PDF exams, lesson videos, uh, speaking section interviews, audio CDs, lots and lots. Uh, but what we're really, really looking at right now is this here, the uh, student partner speaking. This is a free service for everybody. If you want to book an IELTS speaking section interview with me, uh, for practice, you can click on that um, yellow button that's beside my or behind my head there, the speaking interview practice, okay? All right, um, once you click this blue uh, student partner speaking button and click I accept start speaking, then you get into our speaking interface. And here we have Call Winder, we have Nav, followed by Nav, interestingly. We have Jay, Yash, Ashok, Asang, Mohammed, Shukam. So we've got lots of students, Sum, uh, and lots more joining in. You will see me in here. Uh, you will see me in here as a uh, master, okay? Uh, now click on the blue envelope and send me a message that says, I want to volunteer, okay? And as soon as you send me a message, I will see a little number come up on my screen, uh, like I just did with Yash, right there. So I know that Yash wants to volunteer, and then I can reach out to Yash and say, Yash, are you ready? And I see Sum is volunteering as well. And then uh, we can practice and build strategy. I will give you a band score estimate for your speaking level as well here. So Yash, if you are ready, um, just send me a sign, send me back a message. Yes, I am, I just saw that. And now I can reach out to you, here we go. Hello, sir. Hi, Yash. How are you? I'm doing great, sir. What about you? I'm doing good as well. Thank you, Yash. Thank you for asking. Uh, Yash, where are you in the world right now? I am in uh, India. I'm in a state of Gujarat in India. Nice. What city are you in? I am from Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad. Okay. Great, and Yash, why are you uh, doing the IELTS exam? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my master's in mechanical engineering in Canada, so that's why I'm preparing for my IELTS exam. Mechanical engineering, so like building robots. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> awesome. That's exciting. It's the, I think it's the dream of a lot of people to build robots. I would love to build a robot. Yes. Um, okay, Yash, yeah. let's get into some uh, speaking part one. I will ask you some questions. Give me some nice full sentence answers, okay? Sure, sure. All right, so welcome to the speaking section of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. Uh, may I see your identification? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, here is my passport, which is I used to register for this exam before uh, two to three weeks ago. And uh, here is my credential. Phase. Now you can see that. What is your full name? My given name is Yers and my surname is Kupadja. Please just call me by Yers. Yes, okay, Yers. Um, so for part one, I will ask you a couple of questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. What do you do for fun? For entertaining, entertaining purpose, I just go, I go for a movie on internet or sometime I also used to play with my nephew whenever I have a free time. I remember that I last Sunday I played with my nephew and uh, that was a uh, full entertainment, uh, entertain, 
and the ten time. Let's talk about the internet. How often okay. do you use the internet? Uh, uh, searching on uh, YouTube as well as uh, looking or, or making research on a uh, web. It is one of my uh, hobby as well as uh, I love to search a uh, few things uh, on the internet. Uh, uh, last Sunday I had uh, watched uh, a science fiction movie with my friends on an online uh, platform which is called Netflix. What are some sites you visit frequently? Yeah, some of uh, the sites uh, which is I use uh, often uh, the name is uh, IELTS Coaching and also YouTube as well as uh, ahelp.com uh, because uh, that uh, I use that because I am, I was preparing for my IELTS examination and that time I also visited those sites to get uh, some quotes and I also help from those sites. Okay, that was good. All right, Yash, um, great. Uh, thank you for that uh, commercial plug of using ahelp.com. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, I did not pay Yash to do that. Yeah. Yes, exactly. All right, Yash, uh, that was good. Okay, so Yash, um, not bad. Uh, definitely around uh, 5.5 to 6 band for those. Um, I think you're fluent, but some of your sentences are a little bit confusing grammatically and a little bit off topic. So uh, first of all, when you uh, present your identification, that was a little bit long, okay? So a little bit shorter, all right? A little bit shorter, not much shorter. So it's not like a yes, sure, here it is but it's not quite that long, so a little bit shorter. So yes, here's my passport that I used to register a couple weeks ago, please take a look. Um, saying like, here's my page with the credentials, take a look at my name as it's written, is a bit too much, okay? So a little bit shorter, all right? Don't, don't make the examiner feel like you're too <laughs> expressive. Um, and then uh, your name, that was fine. You introduced yourself, you said, please call me Yash, that was very good. Uh, and then I asked you, um, what do you do for fun? And that's where it was a little bit confusing for me. Like you said, um, for entertaining, entertainment. Okay, so for entertainment. Uh, and then you said, I just go for a movie on the internet. Um, it's weird to say go for a movie on the internet. When you go for a movie, it, you should be going to like a movie theater. You actually walk, right? Go for a movie. Um, so instead of go for a movie on the internet, it's I watch a movie on the internet, okay? I just watch a movie on the internet. So just some kind of, you know, a little bit off grammar, off uh, uh, vocabulary use there. Um, so I just watch a movie on the internet or sometimes I also uh, play. Uh, it's just a general present tense. I also play with my nephew and then last Saturday I played uh, some games with my nephew. So uh, a little bit off grammatically, okay? Um, okay? And then, so so work on your grammar. Work on your grammar, definitely. Now, I asked you, how often do you use the internet? And you said searching on YouTube as well as searching online is one of my hobbies. You're not really answering my question there. Here I'm just simply asking how often, like every day, four hours a day, ten times a day, uh, on the weekend. So um, here I'm asking specifically adverb of frequency, always, often, and I didn't really get that in this answer here. Um, I, I got that you use the internet, but I didn't really get how often you use the internet. Okay, so okay. really pay attention to the question here. Okay, for IELTS, you have to be very, very specific. So let's try this one more time. How often do you use the internet? I use uh, too often uh, searching on internet. Uh, I use uh, every day about uh, eight to ten hours uh, using internet. Uh, Sometimes I watch. Uh, movies on Netflix as well as sometimes I search for uh, YouTube. I must remember that uh, I had uh, one hour of session of coaching guys uh, on this morning. Okay, uh, just a second. So.
It's good. Okay, I just simplified it. So I'm going to read the answer here and then just repeat after me, okay? So I'm going to read the question, okay. I'm going to give you the answer, and then just repeat. So how often do you use the internet? I use the internet for eight to 10 hours a day to watch movies on Netflix or search for information on YouTube. Like this morning, I spent one hour on YouTube learning for IELTS. How often do you use the internet? I use the internet for eight to 10 hours a day to watch movies on Netflix or to search for information on YouTube. Like this morning, I spent one hour on YouTube learning for IELTS. Much better, clear, focused. That would be a band eight, band nine, okay? So clear, accurate, fluent answers the question specifically. That's all they're looking for, okay? So keep in mind, IELTS isn't meant to be too complicated, so don't overdo it, okay? Just focus on good, clear grammar. All right, Yash, um, I hope that you come to Canada and I hope you build me a robot. <laughs> exactly, sir. Exactly. Why not? <laughs> right. I do work hard for that also. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sir, <laughs> sir, I, sir, I want to ask you some question about my reading module as well. Uh, how can I improve my time management by reading in a reading module? I would love to answer that question for you, Yash, but if I start talking about reading, I'm going to encourage people to ask me questions that are off topic. So if you have a question about reading, Yash, what I recommend that you do is send me an email on it and I can give you a clear, better answer through email later on in the day. Does that sound good? Surely, surely, yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and what about my fluency? How, how Your fluency much is I fine. Your fluency is like a band eight. It's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with your fluency. That's why I said band 5.5 .5 to six because you are fluent, but because your coherence is pulling it down, it's hard to give you that perfect, like that band six, because band six means that you're fluent, but you do have to be a little bit more coherent for that fluent band six, okay? Okay, so I, I just want to know that uh, I work hard for my grammar and accuracy. Yeah, work hard on your grammar and the accuracy of your answer. Absolutely, that's what you want to focus on. Yes, definitely. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. Next time, next time I will come up with those those practice and make make much harder for myself as well. I look forward to it, Yash. Talk to you later. Have an awesome rest of your day. Night. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have a nice bye. day to you as well. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, that was Yash. Um, okay, everyone, so uh, that was Yash. Uh, we've got lots of volunteers now, which is fantastic. Um, let's see, we have, um, let's kind of jump down. I want to show you that it's not all in order here. I'm gonna see if Tarun is here. Uh, Tarun, are you ready? We've got lots of time, students, so I have time for many, many volunteers. Um, so hang in there and um, wait your turn. I will definitely, uh, pick different people and very importantly everyone the advice that I'm giving and when I'm doing repetition work that's not just for the student that I'm talking with that's for everybody so like now when I asked Yash to repeat after me I hope that other students were also repeating that sentence okay for answering about uh, how often do you use the internet so those corrections and those repetitions are for everyone to practice okay all right, Tarun is ready. Let's reach out to Tarun. All right, Tarun, I heard that you picked up. I can't hear your voice though. Tarun, can you hear me? Sometimes uh, with some students, we aren't able to connect. If you haven't tested your system, students test your system, okay? Make sure that your audio, your speaker, uh, and your microphone works. You have to enable it. Make sure that uh, it's working properly on your device as well. So Tarun, test the system, come back, volunteer again. Uh, let's, um, let's see who's even further down this list. Here's Turi Ip. Uh, let's see if Turi Ip at the very bottom here, probably thinking he'll never get to me. Uh, Turi Ip, are you ready? Ha, huh? you didn't see that coming, did you? Um, so Turi Ip at the bottom of the list. Let's see if Turi Ip is ready. Tarun, don't don't call back. I will call you. Okay. So Turi Ip, yes. Okay.
Hello, Turi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hello. I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Awesome. How are you, Turi? Mm, yeah, I haven't had dinner tonight, so I'm kind of tired. Yeah. Tired and hungry. Yeah, I'm, waiting for, I'm waiting for a cheaper. It's kind of late. <clears throat> okay. All right. Where are you? Yeah, I'm from Vietnam. In Vietnam. Hanoi. Okay. In capital Vietnam. Yeah. All right. Yes, I am familiar with Hanoi. I've learned a bit about Vietnam since uh, we've had lots of volunteers from Vietnam. Okay, uh, Turi, um, why are you uh, taking the IELTS exam? <clears throat> well, currently right now I am the last year uh, student, you can see, and about next year I will graduate. And yeah, I'm choosing a, a company for me. And yeah, I'm heading to like a <coughs> company that's yeah, it's required an uh, IELTS certificate, mm -hmm. right? They are above um, 5.5, 6, yeah, they need. <clears throat> okay, and so you need it for work? Yes. Okay, uh, may I like, ask uh, what uh, what type of work? Um, Like, I'm working in a technology company, and, and my company is like, uh, it's working with like other companies overseas so yeah, yeah. that's very common yeah that's very very common i mean technology companies they're global uh, a lot of companies now are global even small businesses now are often global so yeah uh, ielts is becoming more and more common as a requirement for job applications as well as for school and immigration absolutely um okay well let me ask you some uh part one questions here and uh and then uh, we'll um go from there so um are you ready okay <laughs> all right okay and then you can go to sleep after right last bit of energy here last bit of exercise practice all right here we go so how often do you use the internet uh, every day I spend about nine or ten hours to use surfing or information online well mostly I'm searching for uh, some information about like, for my work or even when I have free time I will look for I will <coughs> go to uh, YouTube and look for funny really funny videos for entertaining or sometimes I can uh, play a little bit of surfing a little bit of social medias yeah what are some of the sites you visit frequently well the site I'm um, using every day it's uh, a site called study for it is a site pro it's a site providing uh, providing uh, <clears throat> IELTS exams that's like uh, an exam for uh, the one who are studying on uh, alone <clears throat> who still studying IELTS alone and it's very effective for me because I can <clears throat> study IELTS very effectively on that because it will mark me and give me some feedback about my uh, I was exam and I can study easy. Do you without... use the internet at school or at work? Yeah, not frequently because in school I have to study a lot and I have no time for surfing the internet or doing some personal things alone. But uh, but in my school there is a room for a computer where can I find some information online when why I want why I'm studying and of course why why this test too is internet access commonly available in your country of course it has been uh, developed through decades like <clears throat> uh, in the past we, we don't we, we didn't really have much internet uh, the people cannot could not access to internet frequently like right now like uh, most people right now can easily access to internet uh, wherever they want uh, absolutely um, 
on their computers or their smartphones. And <clears throat> okay, I'm going to stop you there. I'm going to stop you there. All right, let me let me interrupt you. I'm going to stop you there. Um, I, you know, uh, you're thinking, you're speaking, you're thinking, you're speaking, and that's great. Okay, that's what you want to do. You just want to do it a little bit differently, and you want to be more concise with your answers. All right. So uh, you're doing a good job, and. Um, in some places where you really get going with some nice fluency, you build some extremely good sentences. So that's what you want to do from start to finish. Uh, my first tip to you is don't overspeak. Okay. So when you have the question, answer, explanation, example, don't give more than two answers. Okay. Or don't give more than two explanations. Um, at times I felt like you were over explaining or, um, over answering. And in the real IELTS speaking interview, uh, the examiner, many of them will not be even as patient as me. They will interrupt you and it will become a very awkward kind of conversation. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. It's like I cut out nervous. Like, I know. <laughs> so sitting here and waiting. Yeah, um, and during the uh, so what happens when people are nervous is uh, some people underspeak and then some people overspeak. Yeah, it, like it, my heart pumping. Yeah, that and 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 so when our heart gets going, when our heart is racing a mile a minute. Um, then uh, some people they freeze up like they say yes I use the internet and then they stop talking and that's one way and that's not good um, and then the other way is when people are like yes I use the internet nine to ten hours a day I use it for movies I use it and then they keep going and going and it's like oh uh, okay we gotta interrupt you so um, it's you, you want to be calm but you know practicing this way and what you're doing right now is a perfect way to um, kind of become more confident and relax. So um, your um, level is about a band, also a band 5.5 to 6. You are fairly coherent, so I can understand quite clearly what you're telling me. Um, however, it's just awkward, like I say, where you give an answer, you kind of pause, you give a different answer, you kind of pause, and then you give another different answer. So you need to uh, connect your ideas a bit smoother when you're speaking to create more fluency and um, more clarity. So what I recommend you do is really practice your connectives. Uh, so for example, let's take a look at this question here. How often do you use the internet? And you said every day um, I spend uh, about uh, nine to ten hours surfing. I really liked your paraphrasing, by the way. I thought you did a really good job of paraphrasing the questions. Every day I spend about ten hours surfing for information online. Um, and then here, try to use a connective, right? Since I uh, need the internet for both work and school uh, to get my projects finished, okay? So using connectives like since and therefore and um, however will allow you to kind of connect your answer and explanation in a smoother way and then just give the example. Does that make sense? Uh, okay. Let me show you. I'll, I'll take this one and the next one and then you'll see what I mean. So every day I spend about nine to 10 hours surfing for information online since I need the internet for both work and school to get my projects finished. Um, and then here's where you started to kind of switch again. You said when I have free time. So instead of all of this, uh, just um, so recently um, I have been learning about um, database uh, programming uh, for my future job. Okay, so that's concise and then you have a nice complete finish. Okay, um, try this answer with me. So um, I'm going to say it and then just repeat after me. Every day I spend about nine to ten hours surfing for information online since I need the internet for both work and school to get projects finished. Recently, I have been learning about database programming for my future job from a website. 
Every day I spend about 9 to 10 hours surfing for information on nice scenes. I need the internet for both work and school to get my project finished. Every recently I have been learning about database programming for my future job for a website. And then done, right? So you're finished. You'd go down with your voice and you make it clear for your listener that you're done and you're waiting for the next question. Okay, and then you're going to get into a good nexus of conversation. For those high band scores, for the band seven, eight, nine, the IELTS speaking section should really be conversational. It shouldn't sound like this awkward kind of question and answer, question and answer, interruption, uh, over speaking. Okay, um, so keep that in mind. Okay. Um, here, what are some of the sites you visit frequently? Uh, well, the sites I'm using every day is called Study4. This is one site. These are sites, okay? So you want to mention two sites, okay? Well, the sites I am, let's enunciate, not contract. So, well, the sites I'm using every day are called uh, Study4 and um, unbox uh, program programs okay I'm just making that up um, these are okay so let me make a bit of a correction here um, because the first one is uh, effective for me uh, to study IELTS and the second one for learning programming languages. Um, I was learning uh, C++, C++, C++ from Unbox uh, programs this morning. Okay, so see how I'm just following this simple structure of answer, explain, example, connecting my explanation and my answer with a connective word or conjunction like uh, since and because. So try this one again with me. So well, the sites I'm using every day are called study for and unbox programs because the first one is effective for me to study IELTS and the second one for learning programming languages. I was learning C++ from unbox programs this morning. Well, the sites I'm using every day are called Study4 and Unbox Programs because this first one is effective for me to study IELTS and the second one for learning programming languages. I was learning C++ from Unbox Programs this morning. Much better. Okay, so um, I think you have what it takes to get the 5.5, but what you want, of course, is as high of score as possible. So if you can get more than 5.5, it's even better. And when you need 5.5, your goal should at least be 6.5, right? So you should never be aiming for your exact cutoff. You should always be aiming over that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, like so so this is what you want to do so simplify your thoughts a little bit stay focused stay calm you have good English you have nothing to worry about and then just structure okay so structure and connect your answers sounds good uh, so I think you need to speak slower I guess think more I like, think those are very good bit. thoughts I think those are very good thoughts yeah, for you. yeah. confused like I didn't really know, really know how to talk and think about ideas and yeah, it was all messed up. But now it's much better and you'll do great. Okay, Turiyip, um, have an awesome rest of your night. Try to eat something before you go to bed. Sleeping hungry is never a good idea. Um, so hopefully you get some food in you and I hope you get some good rest and then come back and practice more later, okay? Sure. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Terry. Up. All right. That was Terry up from Vietnam. Give Terry up a thumbs up. You know, he's really there. You know, students are really putting themselves out there um, practicing like this. And Terry up said a couple of very wise ideas there at the end. He said, okay, I think I just need to slow down a little bit, think a little bit more, uh, give better answers. And absolutely okay. The uh, wisdom of think before you speak is very, very important. All right, Valentina, uh, are you there? 
I am going to shift through. We've got time for more volunteers, so thank you for the support. Carolina Simran, uh, Mal giving the thumbs up. Nepsume, lots of hearts. That's awesome. Akira, yeah, support each other for sure. Okay, it's it's quite intense to to do this. I can only imagine how nervous I would be if I were on the other end of the line. Okay, don't call me students. I will call you. Uh, Valentina. Okay, I hear that Valentina picked up. But I don't hear your voice, Valentina. Um, again, students, make sure that you test the system maybe with another person. Check your microphone, um, check your speakers, and make sure that it works for you, okay? You might have to uh, change some internet settings, some permissions on your device uh, to enable the website to use your camera, use your microphone, okay? Uh, Valentina, um, check it out, check it with another um, person that's here and then when it works um, try to call me back uh, at a later time or, or volunteer at a later time, okay? All right. Okay, uh, let me reach out to somebody else. Let's see Sarah here right after Valentina. Sarah, are you ready? Okay. Yeah, internet um, connections uh, that work well are usually Wi-Fi and LAN connections. If you're using data, that can be also tricky. Sometimes you have data restrictions on your phone for video audio. Uh, Sarah. Uh, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How about you? I am doing pretty good, Sarah. Um, may I ask, Sarah, whereabouts are you on our big, beautiful blue planet? I'm from France. From France. All right. Um, which city in France? Uh, Marseille. Marseille. I've been to Marseille. So. I know. Uh, because we have talked before. Oh, uh, really? It's like two months ago, yeah. And I actually passed my IELTS and I got like a 6.5 but uh, I need to repass my IELTS uh, because I want to go into university. Okay, so you have an overall score of 6.5? No, the overall score was 6 but in speaking it was 6.5. I have to get an overall uh, score of 6.5 actually. Uh, oh, it's like okay. in the middle of August, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, all right, uh, sure, I can help you with that. So you need to improve just a bit, but that you know does mean regular practice, right? So you have to really practice every day, even though half a band seems like a little bit, um, you still have, to, it's, it's actually a fair bit. So half a band is a fair bit of English, but as long as you practice every day, I'm sure you can do that. And you're smart to improve your speaking score because that's your strongest score. So if you can get a band seven or seven five in speaking, then that will help to pull up um, your overall band score. So that's smart for you to do that. Um, okay, Sarah, exactly. well, let me help you with that. All right, and we'll get going on this. So you've got a about a month and a, month and a bit. Um, okay, lots of study every day. Um, here we go with some speaking uh, part one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, all right. Uh, do you use the internet at school or at work? I'm actually working as well as a student, so I use internet in both of them. Uh, because of the recent situation um, of the country, uh, of corona situation, uh, so we study online. It's actually like seven hours online uh, each day. And at work, uh, my online, I work as a freelancer. Uh, I edit videos sometimes and um, I help people to study English online. Uh, so that's why I use, uh, I use the internet. Is uh, internet access commonly available in your country? 
Yeah, the internet access, it's available in my country. Why do you think people use the internet? Actually, there is a uh, lots of lots of situation that makes people use the, uh, the internet, such as like entertainment. Uh, they search for funny videos sometimes on YouTube or on other platforms like Netflix. Some people use internet to study and earn new knowledge, uh, like uh, learning new languages through YouTube or other websites, or they use internet for work. Um, they can be working in freelancer, so that's a situation where they need to be uh, using the internet. How has the way you use the internet changed today compared to five years ago? It changed, actually, uh, the usage of internet it changed a lot, and um, it's not just um, compared by these five years. It just changed each year. Uh, people become more uh, the usage of internet become more uh, in, more through the years because people are actually uh, uh, in need to use internet. If you could make a website, what would it be? Because I study business management, so if I had to make a website, it could be uh, for marketing. Um, actually working uh, in a cloth brand, so it's going to be a website to promote for my cloth brand and to make it global and available for each and every person around this world. And that is the end of part one. We will now continue with part two. For this part, I will show you some questions. You will have one minute to read these questions. Think about your answers. You can take notes in that one minute if you wish, and then you will have one to two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start and when to stop. Okay, and then we would continue with part two. Um, so, yeah, I think 6.5 is uh, a fair score. I might actually be a little bit stricter. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I might mark you a six. So um, I'm just. I uh, know. <laughs> I'm a little yeah. bit maybe more critical. So, so you know, it, the speaking is subjective, and this is why you have to aim high because sometimes students are like, "I got six on my exam, but the last one I got six point five. Why did that happen?" Uh, some examiners um, are a little bit more lenient, and some are a little bit more strict. What score did I give you before when we talked a couple months ago? Do you remember? Oh, you gave me five point five and six. You said in between. Yeah, so I said 5.5 .5 to 6, and, and you got 6.5 on the speaking, so that was probably a positive. Yeah. So, so that was like, ha ha, Adrian. I, was, I got better than what you said. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's a, you know, I, uh, I, I would rather that somebody be in your situation than the opposite, where somebody is like, but Adrian said I was a 7 and I only got a 5. So that's, yeah. I, I'm always scared of that situation. Um, but, um, you know, we're pretty accurate. We're, we're usually within half a band um, to a band for sure. Um, okay, so you've got lots of vocabulary. You've got lots of ideas you have to put them together in a clearer way. Um, so very similar advice to as to our previous uh, volunteer, Turi Ip. Um, very similar kind of English. So he's from Vietnam, you're from France. You obviously have a bit of a French accent. He has a Vietnamese accent, but your style of speaking is actually quite similar. Okay, so the order of information is somewhat disorganized, all right? Um, so just what Turi said um, at the end there, he said, I have to think a little bit more and just organize the information a little bit uh, better, okay? Um, so I said, do you use the internet at school or at work? And you said, actually, um, I think you said I'm, but I didn't hear it clearly. Really enunciate, I am working as well as I am a student. Um, that's good, but it's a complicated way to answer a simple question, okay? Part one, they're fairly simple questions, so don't 
complicate the answer unnecessarily. So instead of saying, actually, I am working as well as I am a student, I would just say, I, I work and I'm a student, so I use the internet in both work and at school. Okay, so sim just simpler, simpler grammar. Does that make sense? Yeah. Instead of overcomplicating the basic grammar of the answer, focus more attention on having a good explanation and example. So actually I work and I'm a student, so I use the internet for uh, studying online and uh, for editing uh, videos for clients. Uh, last week, I sent a short one minute video to a client through email. You see how my grammar, I kept it fairly simple, but my answer was complete and complex. Do, yep. you, do you see what I mean? I so, get it. Yeah, so let's try that um, without me writing it down. Just try to repeat that simple response. So do you use the internet at work or at school? I use the internet at work. Uh, because I'm working as a freelancer, so I use it daily to edit videos for people. Uh, less, uh, an hour ago, I was just, not an hour ago. Sure, uh, just you, in can, the, <laughs> you can say an hour ago. The examiner's not going to call you on that. Weren't you here an hour ago? Um, no, you can say an hour ago I sent an email to a client and done. You're done and that's a band eight, okay? So let's try it okay. one more time. Do you use the internet at school or at work? I use the internet at work because I work as a freelancer online uh, in editing videos. Uh, just an hour ago, uh, I uh, I sent a short editing video uh, to a client. And stop, and that's a band seven five for sure. Okay, uh, so keep your answers like that, and you will beat your last score, no questions. I have I have no. Um, reservation that you'll do better than last time if you simplify like that okay yes all right okay that I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with that thought because I think you really understood what I was trying to tell you there and I'm sure that all of our viewers and listeners are like oh yeah that was way clearer uh, that information than the previous answer okay so go through these questions when you have some time uh, tomorrow and re-answer them in this format and focus on that in your upcoming exam okay okay all right um, Sarah if you have a chance I definitely and it's not a sales pitch but I definitely think it's a good idea for you to try um, uh, speaking interview practice with me like a full speaking interview practice just so you can really get the hang of this and maximize your speaking score like uh, two weeks before your exam um, and then you'll be like okay I got it all right so just a thought of course. no pressure okay yeah of course all right Sarah keep up the good studies and have a good rest of your evening in France thank you okay. it was nice talking to you again good talking to you as well bye Sarah good bye all right, that's Sarah from France, from Marseille. Um, that's awesome. Okay, um, so uh, we've got time for one more, everyone. Um, so let's take another volunteer. Let's see if uh, Orlando is available. I think we've talked to Orlando before. Orlando, are you ready? Um, and again, this is practice for everybody. So all of this advice that I'm giving you, that's for everyone. Okay, Orlando, if you're there, uh, let me know. I believe Orlando was from Portugal, if I remember correctly. It's tough to remember everyone, but we'll see. Maybe Orlando's still there, maybe not, who knows. Mm, okay. Not getting anything from Orlando. Oh, yep, yeah, there's Orlando. All right, last second, Orlando. Hello. Hi, Orlando. How are you? I'm good. Hey. All right. Orlando, did I remember correctly that you're in Portugal? Or am I way off? Mm, I'm from the Philippines, not from Portugal. Philippines, Philippines. Okay, so way off, like way, way off. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> um, thousands of kilometers off. Okay, uh, but we have talked before, have we not, Orlando? Yes, yes. 
we we've uh, already talked. Okay. All right. Um, how are your studies going? Um, right now, I am not studying, but I'm practicing my my English because I am I'm applying for a job online as an audio producer. Okay. All right. Well, let me um, help you with your ambitions. Uh, let me ask you a couple of questions uh, from um, speaking part one. We'll kind of go to these last two questions here. Um, here we go. Are you ready? Yes. How has the way you use the internet changed today compared to five years ago? Um, well, the, the internet is, has become more accessible uh, for me and now it is more convenient than, uh, than before. So you can do a lot of things now online using the internet. Uh, you can use the internet for uh, contacting or contacting your client, sending messages, communicating, and also um, purchasing uh, items like grocery for your daily needs. Uh, if you could, if you could make a website, what would it be? Uh, I would make a website for my um, audio materials as a showcase to for my clients, so that they can listen to the, the materials that I have made and to entice them to get me as their producer. Okay, very good. Um, an easy seven, five, eight, I would say, but I think you can actually get better. I think you can uh, target a nine. Okay, so you, your pronunciation is very clear. Uh, if you speak um, to me like this, uh, and I don't know that you're wow. in the Philippines, I might even think that you're, uh, I'm speaking with a native speaker somewhere. So uh, very nice pronunciation, nice uh, fluency. Um, the content, if you improve the content slightly and pay attention to a couple of points in the communication, you can even, you can target as high as an 859, okay? Um, let me tell you where there was a very clear mistake with the uh, first one here. Um, so I asked you, how has the way you use the internet today uh, changed compared to five years ago and you said well the internet has become more accessible for me and now it's more convenient than before that was very good and I like how you use the present perfect right has become more accessible um, so present perfect question okay has changed uh, in the question present perfect answer and you used me here which was really good and I thought to myself wow okay great you're targeting yourself I was a little bit worried about that and then you started targeting me um, so you said so you can uh, and that's a that's a mistake okay you, you definitely want to avoid that kind of a shift in your voice because that becomes uh, confusing and you said so you can do a lot of things online um, and then you said you can use uh, the internet for contacting your client it's true I'm contacting you right now but we're not talking about me we're talking about you here okay so Orlando keep it to I me my really control and this is for everybody okay I, I, I said you know when we're when I'm talking to a person here I'm talking to everybody so uh, really control your subject noun good communication 
has good control of, on the subject and the subject noun, okay? Um, so here, just a slight change and you're moving from a band eight to a band nine. Uh, well, the internet has become more accessible for me and now it is more convenient be than before. So I can, uh, and not do a lot of things, so I can do a lot more than half a decade ago, because we're talking about five years, right? So I can do a lot more than half a decade ago. I can uh, watch um, two uh, movies or shows at the same time uh, while chatting with a friend. Okay. Um, I can use the internet for contacting my clients. Okay, uh, sending them messages, uh, communicating or purchasing uh, products for my business. Okay, last week um, I bought a new microphone. Okay. So all about you, all right? Um, and um, the last answer was very good. If you could make a website, what would be? Um, start with the answer. Given the chance, uh, I uh, would make a website for my audio materials as a showcase uh, for my clients. Um, it would be my portfolio. It would be my online portfolio. That's what it's called when you have, uh, like, uh, if you're a painter or if you have videos or audio materials, you have a portfolio. Okay, so it would be All my right. online portfolio so that they can listen to the materials that I've made and entice them to get me as their producer. I loved that last sentence, very nice vocabulary, great use of the word entice. Um, very, very, very good. Okay, let's go back to this previous one. So all about you, okay? I'm going to repeat this answer, copy after me. So how has the way you use the internet changed today compared to five years ago? Well, the internet has become more accessible for me and now it's more convenient than before. I can do a lot more than half a decade ago. I can watch two movies or shows at the same time while chatting with a friend. I can use the internet for contacting my clients, sending messages, communicating and purchasing products for my business. Last week, I bought a new microphone on Amazon. How has the way you use the internet changed today compared to five years ago? Uh, okay, well, the internet has become more accessible for me and now it, it is more convenient than before. So I can do a lot more than half a decade ago. I can watch two movies or shows at the same time while chatting with a friend. I can use the internet for contacting my clients, sending messages, communicating or purchasing products for my business. Last week, I bought a new microphone from Amazon. Awesome, that's a band nine. Okay, that's so everybody who's watching, if you wanted to hear a band nine, that's what band nine sounds like, okay? Um, and when you're practicing this, Orlando, really enunciate those eyes. So I can do more. Train your brain to use I instead of you when you're talking about yourself, okay? Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, I think I we have a bit of delay there, Orlando, but you got it. Okay, Orlando, have an awesome rest of your night in the Philippines. I think it's quite late there, so uh, I hope you have a good rest and good sleep, and then I uh, hope you come back for classes tomorrow. Thank you very much, too. Thank okay. you, thank you. Bye, Orlando. All right, we definitely had a little bit of delay there, but I think Orlando did a fantastic job keeping up. Um, students, uh, this interface is for all of you, okay? It's not just to chat with me, it's to chat with each other. So uh, what you should do here when you have a minute is, you know, send a message, say, hey, do you wanna chat with me, practice some IELTS, and then you have some um, uh, scripts right here, okay? So right there, you can click on objects and like magic, boom, there you go, some questions. 
um, will pop up that you can use to practice with each other. So this interface is for all of you, okay? And uh, it's free. So use it every day to improve your speaking with each other. Uh, this website is aehelp.com. Um, use it uh, to improve your language communication and for IELTS. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access. Click this big red button, okay? Again, the website is aehelp.com. Uh, and you can use this discount code that I showed you at the start of class, uh, which was IELTS9. So um, use that discount code, IELTS9, uh, for that 25% discount off uh, our academic or our general IELTS website. Um, the websites are right here, aehelp.com, gielshelp.com. Uh, students, thank you so much uh, for volunteering. Thank you for being with me here this morning, this afternoon, this evening, depending on where you are. Uh, Carolina, thank you for helping out with the chat, moderating, keeping it clean. I saw you got, got rid of some spammers there. That was really good. Um, and um, I appreciate everybody uh, for studying so hard and staying ambitious. Keep the world moving forward. Uh, much love to all of you wherever you are on our planet, whether it's France, the Philippines, uh, Vietnam, or in India. Have a great rest of your day. I'm Adrian. I'm signing out from beautiful Victoria here in Canada. Much love to all of you. Bye.